Hello and welcome Exile. Today I want to talk to you about what I believe is the best financial league start you can possibly do, what makes the most money early on, and I believe it is Sanctum. Now, I have an argument for this, and that is simply that currency is king early. Now, Sanctum itself is good throughout the entire league, unless there's a giant MF league that's printing divines like no other, like if there was an Affliction League, but that's pretty rare. But outside of just being good generally throughout the league, early league, it is disproportionately strong. And the reason for that is everybody is broke. Nobody has currency. Therefore, no one can afford to pay the price that a certain item might be worth. Say you drop an ashes from your quest eater. Early on, nobody's going to have the five or 10 divines or whatever that normal market rate is based on it being one of the first ones available. And you're just going to be able to sell it for a couple of vines. It'll probably spike in price and then go back down as the market gets flooded, etc. The point is, there's a ton of instances where there are rare finds that are very, very valuable, but no one can afford them. The person who found it can't use it, so he has to sell it for pennies on the dollar. And that makes Sanctum a big winner for gearing your character quickly. Because if I go into Sanctum and I rush there in five hours and I do two Sanctums and I walk out, with 70 plus chaos and three divines, I'm going to be buying stuff that is much higher in value, that will spike in value over the next few days and get disproportionately higher return on that early money I've gotten. And I think Sanctum does it better than the other mechanic. You can get a decent amount of raw chaos from things like Heist, but Sanctum is just better at that. Although there are other random rewards you can get from Heist, like for example, you can get replica uniques, etc. Et I do believe that Sanctum is king here because even on some of those rare replica uniques, you're not really gonna be able to get good value on them. Whereas Sanctum, you're just gonna be printing those divines, printing that early chaos, and you're gonna get some pretty good bang for your buck. Not to mention a lot of people League Start Pathfinder, a lot of people are trying to fix their flasks. Things like baubles and stilling orbs, they sell at a premium as well because everybody needs those to automate their flasks to make their, mm, they don't have the piano finger anymore. Point I'm trying to make is I believe Sanctum is disproportionately stronger than every other possible league start for the most part there are a few other strategies that maybe can compete if you want to be a hideout warrior for example or you want to farm those early belt and beast strategies like doing the beast memory stuff like that but as far as i'm concerned a solo player who doesn't have a trader sanctum is king now and when it comes to sanctum early game it's all about one thing in particular if you want to do that and that is damage and reliably being able to apply that damage while staying mobile and staying fast in order to get that as fast as possible in terms of completing those early sanctums. And I am strongly in the camp of, there's one build I know that does that really well, and that is Energy Blade Inquisitor. I league started this exact sort of archetype of character last league for the first time, and it was very good at Sanctum. This character is specialized to do damage. It's not specialized to do other mapping content. Like you take this build and you go into a map, I, I don't have good defenses on this character. I'm gonna be full disclosure, this character is about hitting hard and doing Sanctum cleanly early on versus survival. Because Sanctum, you don't need as much defenses as the regular content. You're not worried about getting stun lock, stuff like that. Point is, um, it's very specialized in that case. So if you're thinking about a normal league start where you're trying out a bunch of just different stuff, I wouldn't recommend this. If you're thinking, okay, I'm okay, I'm down with the plan to just hammer home on Sanctum, this is a character for you. Now, that being said, we don't know if they're nerfing Sanctum, if they're nerfing Energy Blade, Spellblade, we don't know. But I'm gonna get into the, the gist, the nitty gritty of what this character is. So the idea is pretty simple. We are getting as much Energy Shield on our character as we can early. You'll see we have about 3,000 Energy Shield. We're turning that into an Energy Blade and then we are using a combination of Battle Mage, which gives us 100% of our base damage from this weapon onto our main skill. So our main skill is Stormbrand of Indecision. You'll see this weapon set, or this skill says at a level 18 gem, it says 180 to 500 damage. How much are we getting from our Energy Blade? 71 to 1400. So we're over tripling the damage of this skill via Battle Mage alone. Now that being said, there are a couple ways to do this. Now right now I have a two-handed setup. I tested both a two-hand and a one-hand. There's pros and cons of both, and I'm gonna go over them. But simply put, the idea is getting a bunch of base damage that you wouldn't normally be able to get on a spell much earlier due to Battle Mage. And then if you're one-handed, you can combine Spellblade for even more base damage. And then on top of that, the Ascendancy nodes after that, Righteous Providence, Inevitable Judgment, some of the best damage nodes in the game it all packages together to say, hey, we deal good damage early, and that's what we need to kill Sanctums and push those early. 
This build has a heavenly transition into Ivory Tower, Energy Blade, Wrath Pit, this ungodly combo of scaling a very high ES number along with in just insane damage could turn into quite a decent Valve Farmer, I believe. And that is the progression plan that I think I would go with if I leak start this. I haven't fully committed to it. I still want to see what new gems we're getting and stuff like that. But that is the baseline of the character. It's all about getting damage early. Now, I've made a bit of a progression tree for this character anywhere from 12 all the way down to um oh, what's the word 12 all the way down to throughout the leveling and basically it levels as a meta to uh dual wield armor brand crema if you want to if you don't like that you can do firestorm it's a bit more chill to play but this will give you a skeleton tree if you want to practice the run essentially what i believe i'm going to end up recommending is essentially leveling all the way till you get merc lab doing valenta and then skipping katava initially so that way you save the 30 res save a couple passives i probably won't spec these nodes because i won't need them because i'll have the extra 30 res and then going straight into doing sanctum you run the sanctum you get the chaos you buy another sanctum you buy some upgrades and you rinse and you repeat is the idea of the strategy now i'm gonna go ahead holy cow twenty five thousand, rudy this guy's insane he's actually insane anyways i'm gonna give you a little showcase of what it looks like level 69 sanctum this is the damage you can expect now this is a two-hand setup i don't think i'm gonna end up recommending this i the the pros and cons are a two-hand weapon it can be whatever weapon you want i found a random weapon that came from a heist that was a six link blue this doesn't matter. It can be an axe, it can be a sword, it can be a staff. Staves, you can color. Axes and swords, you need to get something that where it's already corrupted the correct colors. For example, um, if you're doing this two-hand setup, a setup and you have um, a red socket, you can go for cruelty. A green socket, you can go for hypothermia, but you have to add in some flat cold. Say you use a light of lunar shield, something like that. I guess, I guess in this case, you're doing a two-hand. But point is, you're buying the weapon that's a six-link cheap, trash corrupted whatever it is the idea is you care about the colors and this gives you an early six link that's the advantage of the two hand has a bit more base damage you can't use spell blade which is a downside because it's a very strong support but hopefully that gives you a good idea of the, the concept here ultimately i believe i'm still going to recommend going a one hand plus a shield but there is that option to get the early six link this way um it's not much better than just using Kalisas for the five link but you give and you take and i'll give a little showcase right now it's technically a bit higher damage than my one hand setup but i am using swift brand which ultimately i don't necessarily like that much because there are scenarios where the brain will fall off the enemy before it kills it and that can feel kind of bad and we have a blessing here that we activate but you can see at level whatever this is um i guess should be dead if he's not it'll be a little bit awkward at level 69 this low level sanctum this is plenty of damage to run these. You'll be able to go through all four floors. If you have any experience with Sanctum and you play your choices correctly, you should be able to do these runs fairly cleanly. Now, this is level 74. I did my first one at level 69, which is about the range I would recommend doing the Sanctum Rush. My plan is going to be as follows. Leveling in, just speed run leveling to Blood Aqueducts, then grind up to like level 66 in Blood Aqueducts, then finish out the rest of the campaign. You should be around level 69 by the time you've completed Merc Lab. If you need a little bit more XP, you can finish that out in some of the Act 10 zones. Essentially, level 69, I have a tree set up for it that I recommend, that, are, that I'm going to recommend. I haven't refined it 100%, but hopefully it gives you a good idea of what to look for. Ultimately, my current setup is trying without Ghost Wraith, trying to do a, a Eldritch Battery setup with a Blessing. Long story short is, thought, thinking it through, thinking through not doing the Katava kill, I believe I'm going to end up still recommending Ghost Wrath. It's just too good for that early extra damage you can get, and so I'll probably make a refined POB for this. But here is just an example of the fact you can do it without a Ghost Wrath, just to give you a little bit of a look-see. And of course, if you're like doing this for loot, maybe you'd go here for the, the regrets. If you feel a little bit weaker, like you don't think your character's strong enough, well, more damage is maybe going to be a little bit sketchy we are going to be on the squishier side so you maybe want to avoid that until you get a little bit better geared so maybe we'd still go for the resolve and get the currency here but the idea is you push sanctum early you start jacking in these rewards um and you get to set well i didn't misplay that you know you saw there the brain ran off that's why i don't like swift brain because normally the brand should be last long enough to kill whichever guard you're fighting so i'm not a big fan of swift brand just because of that alone but anyways, that's what it looks like running through Sanctum. Hopefully it gives you a good idea. This, I believe, is the best build archetype to rush Sanctum. And it's what I'm going to recommend. 
ultimately, uh, I don't know if I like doing the same thing twice because this would be the same as my last league start. The one upside is I have some ambitious goals about pushing Valdo maps as early as possible, and this would allow me to achieve that quite well. I'm up in the air. I want to see if there's some new cool things that sound fun. I haven't, I'm not, not going to fully commit to making my league start of this, but I am going to do some league start guide info on it for those of that. Those of you who want a really competitive, crazy money league start, because that's what Sanctum is. It just prints a lot of raw currency. And I don't think anything does it better on Sanctum League Start. So, or on League Start. Anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. This is the Energy Blade Inquisitor Archetype. I would fully recommend it for farming Sanctum early. Not going to recommend it for generic mapping or other stuff, but it transitions into a build that can stomp all content when you get to Ivory Tower and stuff like that. But early game, it's all about getting that money so you can get those upgrades. Anyways, hopefully you enjoyed Exiles. Take care and peace out.